<laughs> guys my luck so i get home park the golf and we have, have another leak now what can it be notice the car's like boiling slightly because it's a bit hot now if you look can you see that pipe over there i'll actually zoom in for you guys that's just decided well i'm just gonna crack today because i feel like it <laughs> hey feet up will use they don't mess about so yeah we've got a leak i'm just gonna let it cool down basically and then after that i'll have to order that part i'm sure you can get these in aluminium or i might just get another one and i've just come back from vw yeah i've literally just come back from them i've just ordered some parts for the golf yeah which i'll show you while we live here yeah? i've just ordered some service parts oh. so yeah my luck <laughs> <laughs> anyways yeah we'll get that sorted anyway it's just a little flesh wound that really so yeah we'll get it sorted thought i'd show you guys as it's happening as we like to do on mark for heaven so yeah as you've just seen there another problem jesus hey i just don't have luck i'm telling you i'm this car's jinxed <laughs> well this is the second time i've had the same leak the first time this happened it was on one of the other pipes you know these plastic pipes so i've given up now i'm just gonna go aluminium you know i didn't think it this upgrade was needed because i just thought you know unless you're really unlucky it's gonna happen to you but to happen twice you know since i've had this golf um it's just something that needs to be done i'm not gonna take any chances luckily it happened as soon as i got home as i was parking the golf a whole bunch of steam just started you know coming out of the engine bay area and i knew right that must be coolant so we're gonna get it done change them to aluminium and flush the radiator and the whole cooling system out which i'll put a video up here somewhere on doing that so i won't show the whole flushing process or emptying out the coolant but um yeah i'll show you what i've got we'll get them fitted and hopefully fingers crossed it'll be strong this time nothing's gonna break especially on the coolant side of stuff so here's what we have so basically it comes the kit comes with you know i might put a link somewhere in the description it comes as four pieces or four pipes if you want to call it that so you got your normal one which um, goes to your thermostat yeah that's your thermostat pipe this is the one that goes on the side of the um head this one is just somewhere along the you know the pipe work and stuff this one broke the last time on me this top one and then this time it's obviously this one which is what comes off the expansion tank so we'll get all four done what i've also done guys um where is it let me get it I've also done is just gone and got a new o-ring for our flange here um you know by the thermostat i think the one was new that you know when i, I replaced the thermostat ages maybe about three four years ago but which i know is still fine so i'll just replace the seal when i when i sort that out and how much was that that was about four pound thirty for that little o-ring which seems ridiculous but anyway yeah not cheap vw parts are not uh, cheap at all so yeah that's the stuff that i'm gonna use so just leaving that to drain out obviously i lost some of the fluid when the leak occurred so it's only gonna be about half full or whatever um so let's put this to one side right so what i'm thinking is <clears throat> here's our problematic one over here yeah that's what caused this old leak so i'm gonna get rid of that first that's sorted yeah i'm also gonna take um this one off the easy ones get them out the way then we'll move on to the thermostat and then that back one there because this i think i might have to take off this charge pipe as well to actually get you know behind there and take that off but um yeah that's see it. i'm always having the same fight it's not fighting the car to get it fixed it's the stupid weather you know today we've had rain and sunshine about 50 times so every time i try and get going the rain starts <laughs> i'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow now ah frustrating so while this weather is not playing ball as you can see it's obviously 
you know, raining or drizzling or whatever. I'm thinking in the meantime, what I might do, uh, you know, on this channel, boys, we don't mess about. We like to do things properly, yeah? So if you look in here, can you see how it's been casted? There's all that lot over there that needs to be um, sort of, how can I say, smoothed out. So in all of these, you'll find they need to be smoothed out. Like, you don't have to do this, but you know, on here, we like to make sure they run in at the optimum yeah can you see that that needs to be machined out so we'll just get the trimmer onto all of these and then i'll show you guys what they look like after i mean look at that one so you know maybe let's say 20 percent is covered up so we'll get the dremel with the long tip on it and then just you know grind that out and smooth it out really until it's all sweet so yeah let's do that yeah, I've been just nibbling away at this with the with this Dremel. This is more a precision one. I've got this, which is like, you know, my cordless, and then that's like the precision one, so you can really go where you want to go. So, yeah, it's looking good. We'll carry on, and then we'll do the rest of the others. We're done. Look at all the unfilings. Whoa! So, yeah, we've smoothed up that. If you can remember what it looked like a few minutes ago. That's smooth. This is very important, guys. Even when you tune in your car, it's good to port um, your exhaust manifold and, you know, stuff like that. That's nice and smooth now. No blockages. Did that as well. If you look in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see at the end there. This side was quite bad. So I tried to smooth them out best as I could. So yeah, you can see on the edges. Hopefully that should do the trick. And then this one was a bugger because my bit wouldn't go in there. But yeah, it's all smooth, ready to go on. So the weather's decided to change again. Look at it, sunny now. You know what I mean? Can't make its mind up. So we are going to carry on. Let's get all this stuff out of here. Get all these clamps off. And um, take this part off. You can see this, but here's our leak. Look at the camera, let's see that. So just there. Look at that just there you wouldn't even know eh? stupid thing so we're gonna take the thermostat one out now so if you've never done your thermostat and you want to um, basically it's just them two what are they uh, 10 millimeter socket um, there's only two of them there so two 10 mil socket bolts take those out disconnect our pipe over there and then just take it out and you'll see the thermostat pop out as well and the seal so yeah, let's take that off see there's our thermostat there and here's our housing to that so let's take those two out take that off as well right so that's that off a plastic one that's what that looks like and that's those three and then the next one is the hard one that's gonna be fun let's put that on there right and then i'll pop our thermostat out for you guys to see Ugh. there we go there is our thermostat we'll just test our thermostat see how it's working i'll show you how you do that as well before we fit it so, so we're gonna test the thermostat that i've just taken out the golf it's been in there for about maybe two three years maybe a little longer so it's not exactly an old old thermostat so we'll pour some boiling hot water and what we're looking for is we're looking for this part of it to open so just like opening a plug really so we'll pour our boiling hot water in there See if it opens up. 
opening up. You can see that that's open. Yeah, you can see. That's opened up in there. Can you see that gap now? You can see that little gap. So, it should start to close up as the water cools down as well. So what we'll do is put some cold water in there and see what happens when we add a bit of cold. It should just close up straight away, right? There we go. She's closing. There you go. So yeah, our thermoset is definitely working. So if you ever need to test yours, guys, that's a quick way of doing it. So we will take that out now and put it back in the golf. So our boost pipe is off, you know, the um, charge pipe. Good idea, guys, if you ever take off, you know, pipes and you leave your boost pipes open, just stick a glove on them, you know, one of these latex gloves or whatever, just so you don't get anything going down there. But if you look at this, there's only two, two um, nuts on there. So one there and one below. I've taken out our water temp sensor, which is over there. Take that pipe off at the back and then that's basically it that'll come off and then that's all four of them off right so that's out hey that was an absolute bugger to get out you can see where it came out there's its two bolts looks like there's a little oil leak a minor minor one from the top there somewhere so it's a common leak you know by the half moon so it's a little bit dirty around there but yeah we'll clean that up um took off obviously our two pipes from there and then you know disconnected all our sensors and whatever all right so there you have all those ready to rock and roll that's just for a comparison so it's a new day today obviously and what my plan is today yesterday um which i actually didn't show on camera i cleaned up that area because I had some old RTV on there. Just used a you know good old blade to scrape that off. And then by the thermostat side, which is there, I just used this little you know brush to just scrape in there and you know clean it up as best I could, ready for our thermostat and new seal. So now that that's done, it's just about fitting it all back together. So let's do that and get this car back on the road this just goes that way with that long part on the inside of the engine and then with our seal we'll tip it in there I'll try to show you guys that actually so if you look yeah there so that's in now seal is on there now it's just to put the flange on to be honest with you this this is in the way take that off with lots of space then pull that out look at the space now so that's the thermostat done quick look thermostat is on and the aluminium flange let's hope that holds up all right let's move on to the next one probably do that back one now so yeah we're gonna take our water temp sensor out just so we can put it in our new um our new flange now you can change it if you want to but I'm just gonna keep this one. Seems to be still okay. Take the O-ring. I should have actually replaced the O-ring as well, but hopefully this one's still okay. Well, that's a massive hiccup. Look at that O-ring. <laughs> that, my friends, is gone. So yeah, we'll have to put another one of them. Ah. That's gonna stop us anyway. We'll keep hold of that anyway. 
will fit the rest and this is easy to fit anyway you can do this last so yeah guys i was gonna put rtv but looking at this it obviously it came with its gasket but i don't know how much you can trust these gaskets but we'll put it on with the gasket it came with and let's hope it holds up it seems like it'll be okay but you know sometimes these items come with poor equipment or poor hardware rather should i say so we'll stick that on that goes that way yeah yeah so it just comes with its two two parts that go on there so we shall put that right cleaner this stuff eats any rubbish that's lurking here eat right through the shit the fun of getting all the other bits around it fitted on so i'll get all the pipes connected and then we'll finish off our last two all four pieces are fitted so that one's on thermostat one is on that one is on and the last one is on which is down there but we're obviously waiting for an o-ring for our water temp you know um sensor so I'm only going to collect that on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. So, <clears throat> yeah, we'll wait till then. And then, that's it. I'll get this video out to you guys. And you can do this mod to your guys' cars if you've not done it yet. I highly, highly recommend you do this, boys. Because if you don't, this can happen at any time where these things just break off. And then you've got a whole bunch of coolant and you're stuck. First time it happened, it was on this one that broke off. Because it's weak on the plastic version. So... Just get it, it's better to get it done. Anyways, today is actually Thursday, and finally, we've got our seal. Now, obviously, I was supposed to do this like yesterday, maybe even day before, but with the weather, it's been horrible. So, finally, today we can tie all these loose ends up. There's, there's your part number, there's your part number, this N903 for that O ring. So yeah, what I'm going to do with that, give it a little lick and then put that O-ring on there and then do the same with that. Small little lick and then that's going to go in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we want to put it the same way our plug point will. So it goes that way, so we want it to go like so. Yeah, push that in. And there we go. It's in. Plastic clip. Give that a little wipe. We can put that in either way, back, front, whichever way works really. I don't know if you guys can see that, but let's see. That's so all that does. And hopefully, if you can see that, then just connect that up. That's clicked in nicely. Connect our battery up. Connect our boost pipe up. You know, that charge pipe. Bang that in there. Fluid, start it up, and then test it out. See how it goes. Alright, same as usual, start it up. Put our fluid in here so we don't mess. So I'm using this stuff, uh, G12. I ran out of the original stuff, but this should be good enough. Oh, look at the color of that. Wow. You drink that strawberry milkshake. So easier to pour with that's why I prefer using this uh, yeah, that's it no leaks yet nope 
put our heater on temp up to the max let it circulate nice and evenly right heaters are on right fans have kicked in they spinning over fans are all good and if you look at the level just below there yeah and if you look at my bottle I've only actually got look at how much I've got left so that's exactly five liters the capacity of this car so yeah we'll switch switch that off we know that's perfect let it cool down for a bit and then you know top it up to the right level anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this whole video fitting you know these parts they look the part as well i'm not gonna lie but um yeah i'll see you guys again soon take it easy cheers bye